So here we are still in Job and Ali's been taking us through the last few days of it. Job is hard work, isn't it? It's hard to keep going. Um, but the big picture always can be a helpful thing. So if we just stop for a minute and we remind ourselves, what's the big picture of Job? And the big picture of Job is that this guy who was righteous is finding himself suddenly with life having taken a really big turn for the worse. He's being tested by God, it seems, from the first chapter. And it, it's hard for Job. So we, rem let's remember, his kids have died. His property's all gone. His, um, his wife doesn't seem to like him very much. There's a lot of tension in his marriage, which is difficult. He's got some sort of skin condition as well. He's been afflicted by that. And a lot of what's going on in this big argument between him and his different mates is these supposed friends are saying that you're in you're in this big predicament because you're wicked because that's what happens to people who are wicked you have obviously been evil and this is why you're being punished by God and Job all the way through is insisting no I haven't done anything wrong I'm absolutely in the right and I want the opportunity to present my case face to face with God so that's the, that's the arguments that happen the first speech that Job makes is him saying look I haven't done anything wrong I'm fine here then Zophar comes in and says no 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 you're totally wicked and then Job comes in again and says how can you say that I'm actually fine I actually you know you're not the, the final little verse of verse 34 how can you con console me with your nonsense nothing is left of your answers but falsehood you guys don't have a clue what you're talking about and one point for me to just draw out for us today is something that Ali's been saying but just to remind us of it again if life is difficult and if life is tough the thing that keeps us going, and ultimately this is the thing that I think meant Job survived in the way that he did, is that he really was right with God. Uh, he had his heart right before God. He tried to live in a way that pleased God genuinely. And uh, but just because life is tough, that's not a sign that uh, God is against us. And it's not a sign that we've done something necessarily wrong. And all we need to do is look at the person of Jesus to see that he lives the perfect righteous life before God and he ends up being crucified. And he goes there willingly, but that's the reality of it. And for us, as we follow God and as we live life, we will at times find it difficult. The thing to concentrate on is, is in the midst of all of the stuff that's kicking off around us and our house blowing down and all of that, is to concentrate on keeping our hearts right before God. And that will be our compass and our guide and our anchor in the midst of all the storms.